My name's Jacob. Uh, I go under the alias Yikes or Jacob Yikes. I guess I would class myself as a mural artist, street artist, but I also uh, have a gallery, uh, sorry, a studio practice. Yeah, my sort of style of painting would be sort of a surrealist expressionism, abstraction type of work. A lot of the time my studio paintings are very much a reflection of myself, my own mental state. The ideas behind the, a lot of the works are, are based on a really powerful experience that I had um, with, uh, with like plant medicine. Um, and, and you know, I, want the, I don't want the paintings to necessarily be focused on that. That was something that I went through to sort of break through, I guess, into something else. And this is the result of that. There's like a lot of figurative faces and stuff in this. And, that does relate back to that experience that I had, but also like, so I have sleep paralysis um, <laughs> and it's a scary thing to, to, to go through. And a lot of the imagery that is very sort of almost morbid-like has come from that a little bit. Um, the reason I paint that is because it's a way of me dealing with it. Like my, um, yeah, my work is definitely like therapy for me as well. Music for me, is sort of what paints the paintings. Like I was sort of saying before, like I am the vessel for it, you know, but when I'm listening to sort of music and get into a certain like state of mind, it's just like a flow state then, you know, and I can't necessarily achieve that without music a lot of the time for the studio stuff. Like it's music that kind of keeps me going in that respect. It's, it's, it's super important for me too, because like as a visual artist, it's nice to have a soundtrack to your works. Obviously, my uh, paintings outdoors are predominantly spray paint and, and you know house paint for larger scale stuff. I actually use very little spray paint in uh, my studio. Like I'll, I'll use a little bit for um, the backgrounds, doing the, the fades in the sky and that sort of stuff. But everything else is uh, a combination of um, a metallic kind of pigment that I mix into the paint, and so. When the paintings are viewed in a different um, lighting, they actually sort of, not holographic, but they sort of change a bit, using that with like a few different little like wash techniques and stuff. And actually like a lot of the paintings I've done with my finger as well. So there's, a, you know, there's just a lot of different kind of approaches that I take to the studio work. You know, a lot of it's brush work. It's all predominantly brush work. Like I said, not really any spray paint. Yeah, a lot of that kind of gestural motion has been something that again relates back to the music. The music goes into me and like flows through me and I kind of push it out effectively and that's kind of where that comes from. It's very like, it's, it's more of an instinct than anything. Um, my colour palette too has always been relatively bright but at the same time dark. You know, like the subject's probably where it becomes darker but it's in a light space. And I think for me that's me trying to kind of like just capsulate the idea. You know, like a lot of my previous work were, the backgrounds were also very intense. And so it was a very intense painting to sort of view. There's a lot going on. There's still a lot going on in these, but they're, um, I guess they're a little bit more refined. And like, I, for me, feel like that probably relates back to where I am at mentally with things now. Like I've learned how to kind of like, really deal with what I'm going through and sort of make sense of it rather than just explode out and be chaotic. And so that's kind of like the basic idea behind where I place things and like why there is a lot more abstraction in the work. You know, in the last four years, I've, I've probably taken a step up a little bit too, like in my own life too, you know, because art reflects life and vice versa. And for me, I've kind of pulled myself out of a dark place, you know, and that does relate to the title as well. You know, like to get through it, I need to sort of let it out. And this is pretty much my way of of doing that and yeah I'm, I'm, I'm stoked of how the works have come out I feel like I've been able to level up a little bit from you know from my last show and that's that's always my aim you know is to sort of produce something better than the last you know like, and, and Fixate have supported me from the jump too you know like it's 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 been a an ongoing relationship and no it's it's amazing to be able to to have these uh these shows with with Fixate and yeah, I'm very thankful for these guys and I hope they stick around for a long, long time because it's needed in this city, you know, like we are, you know, as urban artists, like have been for a long time sort of overlooked and that's just the nature of the art game a little bit. But 
with a lot of things, times are changing, and like, yeah, these guys are fundamental to the to the growth of the city's art scene. I am proud of this work. I think um, I feel like some of them might be uncomfortable for people, and I, I like that. Like, I I, as, I feel like it's my job as an artist to question things, to make people question things themselves. Like, I'm not here to paint pretty pictures, you know. Like, a, 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 that's a broad term, but like, realistically, it's not what I create for. Like, I do like if somebody likes the work and sees beauty in it or sees whatever they see in it but at the same time I'm not offended if somebody doesn't either it's not why I do this you know it's it's I'm just sort of yeah I'm I'm I guess I'm at peace with other people's opinions <laughs> yeah so I, I encourage people to come down and view the paintings in the flesh um, they're the type of works that you really do need to see in person to really appreciate and to sort of to understand a little more um, I hope that people come through and appreciate them and if they don't that's cool too but it's it's just about seeing them in the flesh yeah